looking for all those activities tomorrow. It's going to be looking very Christmassy. I'm not yeah. complaining. Listen, we could have had clouds and rain and mm -hmm. we won't see much of the rain in the forecast for the weekend at all. There's okay. just a slight chance on Saturday, Sunday, uh, but overall these numbers are going to make you feel like, you know, maybe getting some hot cocoa, taking the kids out there and you know checking out some Christmas lights. 45 degrees the afternoon high for your Saturday. Sunday we get a little bit milder, but we're looking at that isolated shower opportunity and then by Monday that moisture exits and we're still hovering in the upper 40s. That's going to be a theme of the seven day forecast. We're trending cooler as we head through the next seven days. Now, as we start off your Saturday morning, I'm expecting it to be partly cloudy. There's an area of low pressure to our west, and I do think that some of those clouds are going to filter in and out of the region, but I'm still calling for periods of sun for the first half of your Saturday. Those clouds really do start to build in, though, as we head into the evening hours, it's becoming mostly cloudy as we head into the overnight pushing into Sunday, but getting out early in the morning, maybe getting some donuts, coffee, early breakfast. We're going to be at freezing at eight o'clock mix of sun and clouds. The numbers get a little bit more agreeable in the afternoon, but we're all still sitting inside for brunch as we're going to struggle to get to the mid 40s and then those clouds thicken up as we head into the evening hours. If you're stepping out for a night on the town, just remember to bundle up uh, in the thicker jackets as we are going to be at 37 degrees approaching midnight. And then as we start off your Sunday morning, there is going to be a little bit of moisture around and guidance continues to hint at isolated pockets of sprinkles, but north and west of the city. I do think we could see that in the form of a flurry, not ex no accumulation. Just a little bit too warm for that, uh, but we are expecting that moisture to filter in the area by around lunchtime. Some of those showers are going to be trickling through Bel Air and Essex onto the eastern shore, and then we get a break from the moisture for a few hours, keeping the clouds around. And then that final burst of energy uh, really is a, a nothing burger here, producing a little bit of drizzle as we approach 11 o'clock moving through the eastern shore. So all in all, not an overwhelming forecast for the weekend. Plenty of dry time, especially on Saturday. There's going to be real hit or miss on Sunday. And then we're looking at mostly cloudy skies turning the page into Monday. 46 degrees and sunny as we head towards Tuesday, and then we're watching the the clouds build ahead of our next weather maker as we head into your Wednesday, expecting the best chance for widespread rain to arrive on Thursday. And we're going to be watching the northwest communities, especially everyone near the Mason Dixon line, because there's going to be some cold air filtering in as that moisture is trying to exit. And that means that we could see that transition over to a little bit of wintry mix near the Mason Dixon line. I don't think that's going to sink in to the city, but we'll be watching for that clearing on Monday with daytime highs in the mid 40s.